Happy. Hello, hello, good evening, everybody. Hello, Lorena, Carla, Adrián, Gustavo. Uh, let's see, Jimmy. Uh, let's see, who else? Let's see, let's see. Claudia, uh, Lorena again. Thank you very much for being here, my dears. Hello, Carla. It's good to have you here. Hello. Uh, let's continue today uh, with section number one, let's conclude. And then we are going to, uh, to start the section number two, okay? So I'm going to share with you the platform for you to see uh, which part we are going to be working with tonight. And um, let me just finish the previous section. Uh, and af after, after we finish the previous section with going to, we are going to start the lesson object objective 2.0 that says that by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing the parts of the body. But the previous, uh, as we studied last night, is to talk about the knowledge check, right? The knowledge check that you have to complete based on the birthday celebrations of Elena Buenaventura right? Um, Zhang Ching Shi, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Aoki from Kyoto, okay? And Philippe Jolie from Paris, okay? Those are birthday celebration experiences, right? And then you need to read, uh, this is a reading for comprehension exercise. You need to read and get the right information from each uh, reading and then uh, try to answer if it's true or false. Okay, so uh, last night we talked about our birthday celebration. So uh, for tonight, just I just will conclude this topic by giving a little bit emphasis on the WH questions we're going to, and then we are going to study the parts of the body. For the parts of the body, you have a word power parts of the body video. So I highly recommend you to go and study, listen, and watch this video. Watching the videos help us in order to train our ear uh, for the American uh, pronunciation, right? For the American English pronunciation, and also help us to pronounce. If you don't, if you're not sure on how to pronounce a word, you can go to the video, you can watch it, and then you can start pronouncing that word until you get the right pronunciation. Um, then, if time allows us, uh, we are going to express, uh, for example, uh, I feel, right? Uh, you, you will learn how to express how do you feel, okay? Using um, have plus noun, plus feel, plus the adjective to express a health problem, right? And then you will practice this conversation uh, in daily life setting. So this is going to be, if time allow us. So I'm going to stop sharing this. And let me show you the presentation that I have for you tonight in order to conclude, okay? So let me go here. Okay, uh, in order to conclude this topic, um, if you remember last night we were talking about questions like where, right? When, why, what, who, how much, and how long, right? So those are the information questions or WH questions and we say that to ask questions with this, we need to have the WH word first, then the verb be, then the subject, then the going to, plus the verb, and then the complement. Uh, last night we talked about what we are going to do for our birthday. In that exercise, we basically, basically practice the affirmative sentences, right? But it's import important for you to also practice the negative sentences. So tonight we are going to conclude with an exercise using the negatives, okay? So for the negatives, basically the structure is the subject pronoun, I, you, he, she, it, you, we, and they, and the verb be, am, is, or are, right? Uh, remember that uh, we use um, is, okay? Okay, don't worry. So let me just answer the chat, okay? 
And we use is for he, she, it, and we use are for you, we, they, and, you, we, and we use am um for I. In all cases, we have the subject plus the right conjugation of the verb be plus the negative not plus the going to that last night we learned that we can also contract and say gonna, okay? Only for the speaking, uh, the spoken English, you can say gonna. Plus the infinitive of a verb, for example, go, dance, see, and play. For example, I am not going to go to dance, right? Or you can say, I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna go dance, for example. Um, you are not go, uh, gonna do your homework, for example. You're not going to do your homework tonight. Um, he is not going to see the movie, right? Um, or she is not gonna see the movie. You're not gonna play uh, the game, right? Or in, you're not going to play the game. So that's the structure in the negatives for going to. So let me advance in. Um, last night, uh, you answered these questions, some of these questions, remember? Do you remember? What time are you going to go to bed tonight? What time are you going to get up tomorrow? What are you going to do after class? What are you going to do tomorrow morning? Where are you going to go on the weekend? Uh, are you going to travel to another country this year? How much money are you going to spend this month? Those were questions that we answered last night. So we are not going to, to continue here. But I need that we can practice with a conversation for future, future activities uh, about something that I am not going to do. In this case, the going to, in a, few, in a affirmative is like this. Where are you going to go this weekend? I'm going to go to, why are you going to visit that place? You can say, because, what activities are you going to do? I am going to do this and this and that. And who are you going to do to go with? I'm going to go with. But I have the negative, when you're not going to do something. For example, are you going to go to the beach, to the party, to the museum uh, during the weekend? You can say, no, I am not going to go to. And you can say the beach, the party, the museum. And then the other person can ask, why are, why you're not going to the museum? Because it's too boring, because I don't like it, because I don't have time, uh, because I have to do other activity or whatever. From your last vacation, what activities you are not going to do this time? And you say, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go to the beach. I'm not gonna go to the mountain because it's not possible for me this time or because I have other activities to do or whatever. Why are not, why you're not going to do this and this and that, okay? So uh, what we are going to do is that I need that um, to divide the class in groups. I need that one group can complete the activity with affirmative sentences, right? Like this, like the blue chart. So you can take pictures if you want. I'm doing right now and I'm sending to you. But I need that the other group can work with the negatives, okay? Like this. So you can take pictures also. I will do it and I will send it to you. Okay, so let me see. So I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms and then I will go and see who is going to work with the affirmatives and who is going to work with the negatives, okay? So do you have questions about this? Yes or no? Okay, no. I, will divide, I will divide you first and then I'm going to tell you what you have to do. For example, 
this time we are going to have like three groups. Okay, let's do two groups, okay? Let's do two groups in order to have only two possible, right? Excellent, that's it. Okay, please join the invitation and then I will go and visit you and tell you which one are you going to practice, okay? Please join. Hello. Hello. Hello, my dears. Hello. I would like to ask you to please work with the affirmative um, conversation. It means the blue chart. Okay. Okay. You try Hi. to complete. You try to complete the conversation uh, depending on the the way you would like to do it. Right. The places you are going to visit and the things that you have planned to do. Let's imagine. Okay. 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 okay thank you. Okay, uh, um, I start uh, me. <laughs> hello, hello, my dears. I would like to ask you if you can please work with the uh, chart number two about the negatives. This did me. This means uh, the the yellow chart. Is it okay? Lorena, creo que no, no sé si no le sirve el audio, no sé. Ok, Harold, can you hear us? Hello, Lorena, can you hear us? Hola, hola, Lorena. Hola, yo sí les escucho, solo que como entré tarde no pude. Ah, ok, ah, ok, Lorena is there. Tengo problemas con el audio. Ok, ok, so let's, let's chat. Chateemos con Lorena entonces. Eh, bienvenido, Harold. Uh, basically, Harold, what we are uh, assigning to this group is to work with a short conversation as given in the model in the yellow chart. It means uh, using negative, uh, going to, but in negative, right? Okay. Okay, thank you. Lorena is trying to help there, okay? Lorena is communicating with you. Creo que por ahí nos vamos a estar comunicando con Lorena, ¿verdad? O por el chat. Okay. We will miss you, Lorena. Okay. Okay, let's do, okay. But okay. she's there. Ahí está ella, está en el chat. So please um, try to do your best and please use the chat in order to include Lorena. See in a couple of minutes. We are going to have like four minutes in order to finish this. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. 
which activities you are not going to, to do this time? Uh, en tu próxima vacación no harás eh, en ese tiempo. Eh, desde tu última vacación, ¿qué es lo que dice? Cuál, ¿Qué actividades no, no has no realizado. realizado desde ese tiempo? Ajá, ajá, esa ah, pregunta. What acti oh. Excuse me, ah. what activities you're not going to do this time? Eh, it means, eh, en relación a su última vacación, ¿qué actividades no va a realizar en esta vacación? Ah, ¿Qué okay. se va a hacer? Ah, okay. If you compare, because you're planning, ¿verdad? El going to no sirve también para planificar. If you compare, you can say, uh, in my last vacation, uh, I went to the beach, but this time I'm not going to go to the beach. I'm going to go to the mountain, for example. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. okay. okay. Excellent. Perfect. Um, Do you have extra questions? Tenemos más preguntas? Or is everything okay? Todo bien? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay, excellent. I leave you okay. that you can work, okay? Les dejo para que puedan seguir trabajando. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Hello, how is it going? Como vamos? Bien, con Harold, con Lorena no hemos podido sí, comunicar. Sí, yo sé, yo sé, pero ella está haciendo su mejor esfuerzo, sin duda también. Sí. Para allá. Eh, y a veces es incómodo, pero entendemos, entendemos. Uh -huh. Ok, do you have questions? ¿Tenemos preguntas? Solo queremos confirmar si eh, sobrino es nephew y sobrina es niece. Sí, y el primo es el cousin. Uh -huh. Cousin. Sí, sí. Eh, niece, sobrina, niece, nephew, sobrino. Nephews. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Sí. Uh, we have like three, like three more minutes in order to finish the activity. So I leave you in order that you can continue working if you don't have more questions. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Hello, Lorena.
Okay, hello, people is coming back in one minute in order that we can continue the practice according to the conversations assigned to each group, okay? So I hope that you are able to listen to me. Hello, Carla. Hello, Adrián. Welcome back. Who was the practice? Uh, I'm here. Okay. Okay, let's wait for people to come to join us. And then we will start to share the conversations, okay? Remember that this is your time for practicing your speaking. So that's why we try to do many, many activities like this. Okay, so let me share with you. Okay, are you watching my screen? Pueden ver las pantallas? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, I would like to ask to the team that was assigned to start with the conversation uh, for future activities in a in a affirmative sentences. Uh, who would like to participate, please, and share with us what you did. Okay. 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 Okay, you decide. Who start? Quien comienza? The, the team. Okay. Where, Adrian, where are you going to go okay. this weekend? I am going to go to visit my parents in at uh, Usulutan. Okay. Why are you going to visit that place? Because I have long time not visit. Okay. The, no, the not, not visit. Not visit them. Not, not visiting visit. them. Not visit them. Okay, not visit them. Excellent. What activities are you going to do? I am going to to swim in a river and fish in the night in in the river. Okay, and eat very very food, uh, very much food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I envy you. <laughs> Nice. Okay. <laughs> uh, who who are you going to go with? I am going to with my my daughter. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, did you have the chance to change the roles? Tuvieron oportunidad de intercambiar roles, or only that? Sí, sí, entre los sí, tres. Sí, éramos tres. Y, y, ah, uh -huh. ok, perfect. So, uh, who would like to ask Carlita? Uh, ¿Quién le va a preguntar a Carlita? ¿Laura? Adriana. Ok, ah, okay Aura. Ok, Aura. Ok. O, a ver, okay, eh, where, where, sí, para que ah. logren los tres participar, ¿verdad? Okay. Yo estuve uh -huh. con Jaro. Ah, ok. Entonces, ¿quién era la otra persona? De Aura. Yo, Claudia. Claudia. Ah, era Claudia. Ok, Claudia. Claudia, please, Claudia please, Aura. Eh, ya le Vaya, cambiaron Claudita. la <ríe> Claudita. Claudita. <Okay. ríe> Vaya. Where are you going to go this weekend? I am going to go to Fresa. Ok. Why are you going to visit that place? Because it's a, a beautiful place. Okay. What 
activities are you going to do? I am going to take a picture and I am going to walk. Okay. And kiss to giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you going to go with? I am going to go with my mother and my nephew. Okay. Nephew. Excellent, thank okay. you. Now, uh, Claudia, can you ask uh, to, uh, to Aura, Aura, verdad? Aura? Aura. Sí, sí, yes, please. Aura. Okay. Yes. Where are you going to go this weekend, Aura? I'm going to go to the beach. Why are you going to visit that place? Because I need to visit to the beach. I, I need the <laughs> to, go, to, the to, beach. Go, to, to go to the beach. To go to the beach. Yeah. Uh, or maybe yeah. to see the to see the sea. <laughs> to see the sea. I need to go to the beach. Okay. What activities are you going to do? I'm going to um sing and eat and relax. Oh, okay. Uh, who are you going to go with? I'm going to go with my husband, my son, and friend. Oh, okay. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Congratulations, team. So this is an example of a conversation using going to and using several WH questions, but answering in an affirmative way. Now I'm going to invite my next team to please perform the next conversation, but using going to in the negative way, okay? Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. Thank you, team. You can start. Harold and team. Uh, hola, good night, good evening. Uh, okay. It's with Carlita. Okay, Carlita. Okay, Carlita, are you going to go to the beach uh, this weekend? No, I'm not gonna to gonna go to the gonna gonna go mm -hmm. to um. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna go to the beach. La respuesta negativa okay. es esa. Y luego, si usted quiere, you okay. can add, I'm gonna go to the museum or to the party. Or okay. <laughs> okay. No, I'm not gonna to gonna, gonna go to the beach. Uh -huh. Gonna go to the beach. Yes. Okay. Okay. Why you are not going to the museum? To the beach. Oh. Yeah, to the beach. <laughs> Why are you not going to the uh, to the beach? Um, because um, not um time. I, I don't have time. Uh -huh. I don't have time. Uh -huh. I don't have time. Okay. Next question. From your last vacation, what activities you are not going to do this time? Mm -hmm. I am not gonna to gonna go. Okay. I am not gonna go um the beach. Okay. Um the uh -huh, the beach. And yeah. then on no. the and the museum, okay? Uh -huh. Or <laughs> any other place. Okay. Excellent. And the last question. Um, why you are not going to the beach? 
going to go to the beach. We are not going to the beach. We are to go to the beach. Mm -hmm. Because um, for the work. I have to work because I have to work. Okay, excellent. Thank you, team. You did work. your best in order to present how is a conversation where the person is saying not and not. I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna go or I'm not gonna do this, okay? Uh, okay. Remember that the full form is not going to go to or not going to do this, right? And that, etc. But if you want to contract, uh, if you want to shorten going to, you can use gonna. But remember that gonna, gonna. is only for the uh, spoken English because it's an informal expression and I recommend you that when you write an email or a letter or you are giving a formal speech, you have to use going to. Gonna is for very familiar conversation with your family and friends, okay? Okay. Okay, my dear, thank you very much. I'm going to stop sharing this and I'm going to continue with the next part of the class because I need to give you an introduction to the topic that we are going to um, continue using for next week. So I would like to confirm that, uh, can you watch my screen? Okay. Uh, can you watch my screen now? ¿Podemos ver la pantalla? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, these are the parts of the body. Uh, for uh, next class, we are going to use this in order to uh, express how do we feel and to say uh, if you're sick or if you're not feeling so well. So um, the first thing that we have to do is to introduce the parts of the body, right? Just to remind you. And uh, this time we have, for example, a hand. We have left and right hand, right? We have the back. We have blood, which is an in internal part of the body, we can say. We have the bones, the bottom, the cheek, the arm, the body as a whole, different body parts that we are going to study one by one. We have the chin, the ear, the elbow, the eyes, the fas facial hair, right? The finger. Remember that the ones of your hands are fingers, and the ones of your feet are toes, okay? Uh, we have fingernail uh, in each uh, finger. We have our foot. Only one is foot and both are feet, okay? Two are feet and only one is foot. Uh, forehead, hair, hand, head, hip, knee, leg, missing tooth. All we have inside our mouth are tooth, okay? Inside the mouth, we uh, have uh, I, tooth. Teacher, yeah? Teacher, sorry, I don't understand missing tooth. ¿Es porque no tiene dientes? Oh, oh, oh. Hay un espacio ahí, o okay. yeah. missing tooth. The, the space, the missing. Un, un diente okay. eh, caído, ¿verdad? O el espacio del diente. Okay. O un diente okay. perdido. Okay. Missing tooth, okay? Uh -huh. Okay, excellent. Yes. Muscle, neck, nose, shoulder, side. Okay, those are like general parts of the body, right? And I have here myself <laughs> just to, to illustrate you. I don't have a, a different face. That's a good one. picture, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, um, that's the head, right? That's my head my hair, my eyes, my cheek, my lips, my neck, my nose, my ear, my eyebrow, okay? So this is the face. Um, these are the parts of your face, right? Okay, let's continue. Uh, uh, um, yeah. Eyebrow, what is... La ceja. What La ceja. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And the eyelash and la, la pestaña, ¿verdad? Okay. So, uh, I didn't okay. write that, but we continue. Okay. Thank you. 
Uh, I have here some small parts uh, that we already see. My body is the complete uh, situation. The arm is, uh, you have uh, superior members, your arms. In your arm, you have the elbow and your wrist. Uh, you have your hand, you have your tongue, your finger, fingernails. Okay, and then we have the, the toes for, for your feet, right? Head, your head, your ear, your eye, and your hair. And I have here some examples. I'm touching my head. I'm touching my ears. I'm moving my shoulders. I'm moving my legs. I'm feeling my fingers, right? So now it's your turn. But in this case, we are not going uh, to work that way because uh, we are not watching each other physically. So what I want you to do is please take a picture of this drawing and, and I need that you try to write the right names of the parts of the body, okay? So if you can take a picture, I'll appreciate that and I'll send it to you, okay? Okay. So, what we are going to do now is to go back to the breakout rooms and I want you to please try to say the parts of the body of this boy and that you can say uh, at least two sentences using that part of the body. For example, in my case, I said, I'm touching my head, I'm touching my ears and so on. But you, for example, can say others, right? you cannot necessarily use the ones that I'm using, okay? Okay, at least two sentences using the parts of the body. For example, you can say, I have a long hair, uh, I have a uh, pain in my shoulders or I hurt my my legs or whatever you just imagine one sentence or I mean two sentences using the parts of your body okay so I'm going to stop sharing and I will invite you to go again to the breakout rooms Ahí quiero ver con lo otro. Mm. <laughs> 
No. No, teacher. Are you finding the vocabulary? Is it easy? No. <laughs> May I help you? <laughs> Puedo ayudar? May I help? Yeah. Yes. Okay, yeah. tell me. Yes. I we we are described described. Yes. Mm -hmm. And and I use two or three phrase, uh, phrases. I don't know how to say phrases. Arms. Los brazos, arms. Okay, no, no, este, arms. But, but, I I use three, three, three phrases. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. okay. Or okay. sentences. Sentences. Yeah. Yes. I, yes. I, I use three sentences, for example. And I don't, don't, I, I don't say, for example, in, in my case, I don't know if it's correct. I am moving the elbow. Yes. For example. I'm moving my uh, elbow. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And I have sh short, short hair. A shoulder? Uh, oh. shoulder? No, no. I have, I have short hair. Ah, yeah. Correct? I have short hair. Yeah. See, sí, hair, hair. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, this correct. That. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's okay. okay. It's okay. You can have, since you are okay. me, you can have at least one sentence, each one. Okay? Uh -huh. So and the idea okay. is that you create at least one sentence, sentence per member, so three sentences in the group. Ah, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. In yes. the group? Yes. In the, three. in the group. Yes. In the group. Yes. Okay. So you decide who is going to say which one. Okay? Okay, teacher. Excellent. Excellent. See you in a minute. Strong leg. Okay. I have, I have. Hello, hello. Okay. Is everything okay hello. here? Teacher, tenemos una pregunta. Tell me, tell me. I'm here. Bueno, um, vamos a completar el muñequito, ¿verdad? If you can, but the most important is that you elaborate at least one sentence, each one of you. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the most important. Okay. Okay. Y en la... Ver. Um, I am... Ha, is... Arm? My arm, uh -huh. in my arm, I have my... Elbow. Yeah. Elbow. Uh -huh. My yeah. wrist. Uh, wrist. Uh, I mean, let's Solo see. esto. Oh, okay. Yes. That's the. Let me see if it's in the in the in the images I sent you. Yes, it is. Your wrist. La W no suena. Suena wrist. 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 Yes. yes. Wrist. You have your arm, your elbow, and your wrist. And the wrist. Okay. Yes, yes. Wrist. Mm -hmm. Wrist. Okay. Thanks. And then you have your thumb and your hand, but the, regarding to the arm is the elbow and the wrist. Okay? Okay. Excellent. Do you have an extra question? Um, en la parte de... de uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Cuando el... Cuando señala en la parte del cachete. Uh -huh. Ese es el chic. chic. La, mej la mejilla, chic. Ah, mejilla. Yo pensé chic. que cuando estaba rojada nada más. Eh, no, eh, lo que pasa es que el chic es el cachetito, ¿verdad? Pero eh, lo que se usa, que las chicas nos ponemos, chic. es el, es el uh -huh. brush, el blush, right? Uh -huh. pero, pero chic es el, el cachetito, ¿verdad? La parte de acá. La mejilla, por decirlo así. Nosotros le decimos mejilla, mm -hmm. pero es mejilla. Ajá, esa es la palabra correcta. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, you have a, let's see, oops, like two more minutes in order to finish the sentence, okay? okay. Thank okay. you. <laughs>
Hello, hello, oh, my oh, dears. Oh. How was the practice? Hello. Okay. Nice. You're back. Who would like to start with the sentences? Let's see. Maybe. Okay. You can start. Okay. okay. My team. Adrian. Okay. Adrian. 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 Okay, yeah. Adrian. Go ahead. <laughs> Uh, the three sentences. Yes, if you want. Okay. Okay. I I have short. I have a short hair. Mm -hmm. I have a strong leg. Mm -hmm. Aura has blue eyes. Has. In has Claudia. Aura. <laughs> okay. Aura Aura has blue eyes. Uh -huh. And Claudia has. Beautiful green eyes. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, beautiful girls. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> You're beautiful, no matter your eyes color, okay? <laughs> Excellent. <Please> don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Let's see. Uh, my dear Harold team. Hello. Harold, I think that was hello. okay. Hello, Harold. Okay, can you tell us the sentences your group elaborated? Eh, nos centramos más que todo en llenar el muñequito. Okay, okay, it's okay. So uh, Harold sent us the the drawing, okay, and he already uh, corrected, okay. Excellent, excellent, very good. Uh, perfect. So let me continue. Uh, because of the time, we won't be able to complete this exercise, but I would like to ask you to please take a picture because it's very interesting. In the first part, you have to complete, for example, let me, let me try to do some uh, before the class finishes. The part at the, at the end of your arm, which is the part at the end of your arm? Who can tell me? Hand? Yes, hand. Very good. A oh, finger. Finger. Uh, the. Let's see. Finger. Finger. The, yes. the end. Let's try with the, finger. 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 Okay. Let's try with finger. Okay. Uh, second, the part in the middle of your arm where it bends. And then the middle and elbow. The elbow. elbow. Excellent. The elbow. Excellent. Number three. One of the two parts in your head that see that you see with the eyes. Excellent. Eyes. The eye. Excellent. The front part of your head. Is face. Uh, it's face. In this case, it's face. Okay. Face. The front part of your head. Your face. The bottom, uh, the bottom part of your foot. This is tricky. The feet. It's a uh, so. Fíjense que esa es una palabra nueva. Mm -hmm. so, so this is so, and this is the part that is inside your shoe uh, at, at the bottom, like la planta del pie, lo que diríamos, verdad? That's so. The front, the mm -hmm. bottom part of your foot. Okay, next. One of the five parts at the end of each hand. Ahí, ahí entonces en la anterior era, en la primera que ustedes dijeron finger, en realidad era, era, era hand. Porque mm. finger es acá, mm. dice the bottom, eh, one of the five parts at the end of each hand. ¿Sí? Finger. Fingers, yeah. ok. Finger. Yeah. Seven, one of the long parts of the body that is used for walking or standing. The, the, no, leg. Leg, no. okay, leg, leg, very good. Leg, la pierna, ¿verdad? One of the hard white things in your mouth that you use for eating. Eat. Mouth. Is tooth, tooth, tooth. Remember the white tooth. things, las cositas blancas en su boca, ¿verdad? Tooth, los dientes. Okay. Okay. okay, number nine. The front part of your body below your chest and above your legs. 
the front. Below your chest and above your legs. Debajo de su pecho y arriba de sus piernas. Stomach. 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 Excellent. Very good. One of the two parts of a person that are used for hearing. Ear. 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 Y el verbo es escuchar. Hearing. Okay. Now, the challenge for you is to put in order from one to ten, right? Put the letters in the correct order and then you will find another parts of your body, okay? So that's the homework. Uh, in here, I, I have some internal organs, right? You have the brain, the lymph nodes, the lungs, the spleen, the bone marrow, the stomach, the veins, the pancreas, the urinary bladder, the intestines, the skeleton, the kidneys, the gallbladder, the liver, the muscles, the arteries, the heart, the larynx, larynx, larynx the pharynx. Nice. Okay, those are internal organs of your body. They are inside of you, okay? So the next, oh, excuse me. Okay, this is another homework for you, okay? So I would like that you can take a picture. Eh, because it's similar to the one that we already saw. Esta bien similar a la que acabamos de hacer, ¿verdad? So, I would like to ask you to take a picture. And eh, if you can, please try to complete it during the weekend. But remember that the most important thing is that you can complete the platform, okay? So, okay. I expect from you that you can complete for this weekend the whole part eh, of the section one. And if you can advance as much as you can in the section number two, okay? If you, if you have questions, okay. I will be available, okay? So please write and I will try to answer as, as faster as I can do it, okay? Do you have questions uh, right here? <sighs> no? Is it okay? Okay, yes. this, basically this is vocabulary, right? This is vocabulary for you to continue practicing and learning, okay? Okay, I appreciate your effort. I know you're tired because it's Friday. Remember that next week you're going to be free on Friday, but this week we started on Tuesday, so that's why we are here. So thank you very much for coming. Be safe during the weekend, and I hope to see you next Monday, okay? Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. See you Monday. See you Monday. Take care. Bye.